This is homesteading adventures. So the other day, my son found a lion's mane mushroom, but we didn't get it right away because it wasn't quite ready, but the temperature is dropping and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and harvest it because I'm loading up the freeze dryer and we're trying to stock the apothecary and I really, really am hoping to get some lion's mane so that we can freeze dry it. So it's cold, but we're gonna go get it. see it. Woo! Alright. Maggie, you're gonna get wet. Oh, that is a nice one. Now here's the fun part. It's dark and I don't know how deep the creek is. And it's not that bad. Oh, yeah, I would like to have left it for a little bit longer, but yeah, this cold temperature is just not going to do it. Do it very good, so it's time to harvest it. <laughs> it's really hard to do this with one hand. Come on, there we go. All right, well, we left a little bit of the stock. Bear. Maggie. Oh. Late night mushroom hunting. What could get any better? I don't have my like big camera out so I'm using my phone so bear with me so here is the beautiful lion's mane and um, I think we caught it right in time because it's just now starting to see that right there starting to kind of yellow a little bit um, but I mean it's it's actually a really beautiful mushroom and one of my favorites especially this time of year. We've had a couple of days where it's been really warm and I, I was kind of disappointed that I hadn't actually found a lion's mane mushroom this whole time. Um, but again, we've been busy, we've been going and doing. So my son, he's the one that actually found this and he sent me a picture of it and he was like, what is this? And so I, I kind of had planned on getting it tomorrow but then when i looked at the temperature i got a little nervous and i was like no we're just gonna go ahead and go ahead and get it because i, I want to be able to use it i didn't want it to go to to total waste at the brain going in the freeze dryer this is what we're gonna do I already had uh, plans to add some cranberries to our apothecary um, however you know not like that typical like cranberry dish that everyone has 
um, this time of year with their mashed potatoes and turkey and gravy. But I actually plan on freeze drying all of our cranberries and then turning them into a powder and then adding them into capsules just to have here um, up in our apothecary. Cranberry, wonderful for UTIs. I know that you can already get the capsules. You can already do that and that's fine. But instead of me buying capsules that are made somewhere else, I wanna do it myself. And part of us using what we have and getting things that are on sale um, to help stock our apothecary, it, it's, you know, to me, that's that's what we're doing. So cranberries, I do have some cranberries actually tincturing right now. I will say if you do plan on freeze drying cranberries, you probably want to poke a hole or do like a cut in it so that it makes the freeze drying process faster. So my plan is I am going to attempt to freeze dry this entire batch of cranberry, which I think I spent a dollar thirty five. I'm gonna double check that price. They were on sale and we are going to turn this into a powder after it's freeze dried and then make capsules with it. And that's my plan. Now I also have some apples, um, just because I wanted to do some apples and, and add them in. Uh, I, I like the freeze dried fruit. I eat it like candy and it's just so much better for you than you know, the other crunchy chips or, or anything like that. So good to go. And then now, of course, this beautiful tray of lion's mane mushroom, which I am so just blown away with. Now I, uh, I have the freeze dryer running right now. It is currently doing all of our leftovers because that's another thing that we're trying to do is save money and not actually throw food away, which we never really threw food away anyways, because it always went to our pigs or our chickens. But by us now taking our leftovers and putting them in the freeze dryer, at least I can actually put it in Mylar bags and store it for if we go on a hike or if we just need a meal ready to go, at least we have that. But this, these two trays are gonna be more for the apothecary between the cranberry and the lion's mane and then the apple is just gonna be because it's just gonna taste good. Since we're up here, I'll show you what we have processing currently right now. So we've got some red onion that we have chopped up and then we have some celery and there's some spaghetti and there is some, it's some of our potatoes, some sausage, carrots, and it is in like a quinoa kind of style. So, you know, the variety. This video is going to be a couple of days in the making between what we have going on in the freeze dryer right now and waiting for it to be processed and then I'll be loading up the lion's mane and get it in the freeze dryer. So for right now, I will be, I'll be back. See you guys soon. So I told you guys this video was going to be a couple of days in the making and uh, we pulled out the, what did we have in the freeze dryer? We had spaghetti onions well oh, we did onions which i mean it's amazing not gonna lie but we did onions we did celery, celery spaghetti and then some leftover sausage and, and quinoa with like potatoes and all of that yeah roasted veggies yeah so we got that all out put it in our, our mylar bags stored it away and then um went ahead and got the freeze dryer wiped down cleaned up and it is now running for us to load up the lion's mane mushroom. I've had a few people ask about that. I'm still doing my research on how I wanna do this. So we could do a double extraction with the lion's mane. Um, I, the reason why I'm freeze drying it is because this kind of leaves our, our options open. I do wanna tincture it, 100% wanna tincture it. And I also wanna powder it. So, and I also wanna cook with it. So by us choosing to freeze dry the lion's mane, it gives me that long-term option of what I wanna do with it when I'm done. I already have some powdered lion's mane, which is why I'm not like pressing to get it, you know, all powdered and put in capsules. Uh, but I am doing my research and finding out some of the other things that we can do with our lion's mane mushroom um, so that when it's done, we can 
we can really have some fun. But mom and I came up and we went ahead and put our first coating of the sealer on the butcher block. Look how pretty that came out. Ugh, it's gorgeous. Sticky. It is sticky. All right, let's check on Elsa. Did I mention that we named our free star Elsa? Uh, it's appropriate. It's appropriate. Right. It's appropriate. Freeze, she is. Okay, so it is ready to load. And I'm gonna go ahead and open the door. This is a little patty wampus, mainly because we took it out to clean it off um, because we had a little bit of spaghetti left over. So, oh, look how beautiful. It's so beautiful. All right, lines made. Going in. And then we have. I mentioned about the cranberries. We're gonna go ahead and blow the cranberries up. Let's see these cranberries. They're so pretty. We pre-froze everything so that it does make the process go a little bit quicker. And then I will add, I don't know if I added it in the last video or in the first part of this video, but we did go ahead and pierce all of the cranberries with a knife to uh, allow for the freeze drying process to be able to, to actually do what it's gonna do through the skin. I have read that blueberries, grapes, cranberries, anything that has a, a very thick skin, um, you may want to go ahead and, and pierce it so that it helps. We got some apples. You're stealing that one? We sliced the apples and soaked them in some lemon juice. Go ahead, you unclose it. All right, is the drain valve closed? The drain valve is closed. So load food in the freeze dryer, close yep. drain valve, do not mix frozen with non-frozen food. And we're all frozen. We're all frozen. Continue. Continue. And it's freezing. And then uh, the pump is already going to do its thing. So it's already, temperature is already where it needs to be at to start processing it because it took about 15 minutes to cool down. Uh, it's already 31 degrees. Yeah. 30. Yeah. Fahrenheit. It's going to be awesome. So so I'll check back with you guys once this is done being freeze dried and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, bye. You back. Look at that. You can't, I mean. That is so cool. It is so cool. It is so cool. So there are a few different things that we can do with this, um, but I think what I'm going to do is store it away for later. Um, I already have some lines made that's already powdered down and I already actually have some tincturing. Uh, but with this, we are going to store it and then do something with it. I am going to put it in the Mylar bags and, uh, you know, keep it up here for, for when we're out. Thank you. 